Hello, welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Jay Kilgore and I am with Colorado Supershoot, which is coloradosupershoot.com, and my model photography blog, which is just jaykilgore.com, www.jaykilgore.com. My photography workshop page is coloradosupershoot.com. Today's video, we're going to cover um, the patch tool. Um, it's a tool that I see used all the time, but it's probably one of the most um, improperly used tool. Um, one of the things that I like to use it for is um, getting rid of eye bags. Um, it's just uh, one of those things that um, the model won't get a lot of sleep or life gets in the way so they have a lot of eye bags, uh, luggage, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's many different ways to get rid of this. The way that I like to do it is I like to do a bit of um, of using the patch tool as well as um, using a bit of clone. Um, so the way that I'm going to do it is I've already done it or got it going that's what it looks like halfway remotely done but I'm going to show you how I did it from scratch so we're going to make a new layer based off of everything that has already been done so we're going to do control shift alt E or control shift command E if you're using a Mac and first thing I'm going to do is just do a general sweep get rid of some of the bags that are on our eyes oopsie Let's try this again. I'm not looking for absolute perfection at this point in time. I'm just looking to get rid of them. Um, we're going to go back in and fine tune everything in a minute. So we're just going to get rid of this. Bring it down there. When you're using the patch tool, basically what you're doing is you're going to look for an area that is relatively the same color that um, has the kind of the same consistency. So you're going to take the bad patch, um, color it, or circle it, drag it down to a layer that looks good, like right here. We'll take this, we'll just make a circle outline around it, then we're going to click inside of the patch, drag it up to an area that looks good, there you go. There's still a little bit right here that I want to do. I'm going to drag that out a little bit. Now, many people that I know of, they will take this picture and then they will look at the before, after, before, after, and they'll basically just move on from this image. Um, for me, we've kind of lost all of um, any kind of details in her skin, so she's kind of starting to look a little plasticky for me, for my taste. It looks a crap load better, that's for sure. But from here, what I'm going to do is do Control Shift Alt E, and basically, when you do Control to Control Shift Alt E, it gives you a new layer that keeps everything that you've done the layer before. Um, I'm gonna grab the Clone tool, drop the opacity down to about 20%. You can press the two on the keyboard, drop it down to 20%. I am using Photoshop CS4, so it's going to give me a little bit of a preview of what it's going to look like beforehand. So with 20% opacity, I'm going to click up here in a nice defined area and I'm going to bring back some texture to her face, to her eyes um, area here that we got rid of. I'm going to come over here, do the same thing, just bring some texture back into her face. Um, just because um, I just think it needs it. Um, this is before the texture. This is after the texture. We can get a little bit more crazy, wild, and daring. Go in and get a little bit more. But this is pretty much what this video is going to be about. So we went in and got rid of. This is the before with the bags. Um, it's after. And this is with adding some texture back into it. As always, our videos are brought to you by our sponsors, corporate sponsors, Photogenic Strobes, Photoshop User, 
Wacom tool, pin tool, and of course all of my images are shot using a Tamron lens because they're the bestest. I hope you enjoy this video and um, got something out of it. Any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to get a hold of me and we'll get and I'll answer to the best of my ability. Hope you have a great day.